You can't discredit LeBron James' rings because of a bubble. I mean, if anything, all of the players are playing better because they're more focused. So it's no excuses. Of course, there you got guys off the bench hitting 20 and 30 points. Of course, they're more relaxed, this and that. So if anything, it's bringing the best out of everybody. So if it's bringing the best out of everybody, you can see who truly got the skills. So, yeah, okay, all the travel and all of the crowd pressure and all that stuff, yeah. But if you, if everybody is bringing the, if the bubble bringing the best out of everybody because they're well rested, because of less crowd, and they're able to show all of the skills and maximize their skills, then that shows who's really the best. So you got to give them even more credit if it brings the best out of everybody. So you ain't no because it is the crowd and this and that. Okay. So if you, if you, you should better, everybody should be able to play better in the bubble if the bubble brings out the best in players because of uh because of the relaxation, because of the focus, because of the lack of travel, because of the the fans, the lack of hackling, you know what I'm saying? You're able to be everybody able to play good under control. Now you can see who really can play because a lot of guys don't get a chance to really show how good they are because they might get butterflies and all that stuff during the game. But that don't mean they're not better. That just means they just need to they haven't got a chance to adjust their skills to a uh, um, distracting environment. So if everybody on the same level, the bubble just make everybody on the same level. So the guys that could play with the crowd, now they seeing what they working with with the guys who now relaxed. So if they can't be better than the guys that's relaxed, then they was never better than them at first. If they gotta be, if it gotta be that hard for them to, if it gotta be that hard for them to, um, you know, if it gotta be that hard for them to show their skills. If everybody got the same playing field, that evens it out. Cause if a person can play under pressure, they definitely can play when there's no pressure. So ain't no excuses about LeBron. They keep trying to take. They hating on LeBron. They hating on LeBron James. They're trying to take all the credit from LeBron. My face looks swollen. They're trying to take all the credit from LeBron. Don't take all the credit from LeBron. LeBron is a freak of nature. He's the fastest, biggest, tallest player we ever seen. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 you know, right now they can do all that. You know, I think the Greek freak is uh is probably almost there, you know, neck to neck. I mean, he's doing stuff that I've never seen a seven foot seven foot guy do. Run the floor like that at seven foot, you know, in the length and all that type of stuff and be able to handle the ball like that at seven foot. So this is a whole new breed of players. Much respect and love for the players that that got everything started, but a lot of these players nowadays are on a whole nother level. You didn't get guys. Usually they used to put guys. If you if you over six six or something, you they used to throw you down at the block. They used to throw you down there with the centers and stuff at six eight, six nine, and six ten. Now you got guys that's point guards at six nine, six eight. It's a whole new type of thing. It's a lot of Magic Johnsons out there now. You know what I'm saying? So. People don't like change. They don't like evolution, you know. And people scared that they're going to get wiped out. They scared their name going to keep going under the pile. So a lot of these people are scared because they think their name going to go under the pile. And that's not the case. They hating on LeBron. I hope LeBron gets 20 rings. Because the thing about it, before the bubble, they was killing before the bubble. Even when they had the regular, the regular season, the regular games at the stadium, they, the Lakers was killing before then. So I, what you gonna say? The Lakers was killing before then. So they just hating on LeBron. Why they hating? Because they stuck in the past. They don't like change. They don't want nobody to change. They don't want nobody. To, a lot of the old school players. Old school legends don't want nobody to pass them. You know what I'm saying? 
You know, that, nobody don't want, they so stuck on Jordan. They don't want nobody to pass Jordan. They want to be stuck on, they don't want no new icon. You know, they don't want nobody to take over, to take, the, take the torch. They don't, they don't want nobody to take the torch. You know what I'm saying? I really believe that if you throw LeBron back there in that era, he would have been going as hard as all the other players. He was bigger, faster, and stronger than him. So he would have been knocking Oakley and all them down because he was faster and stronger and bigger than him. So it would have been no pushing him around because he would have went harder as well. You think he wouldn't have went harder as well? Y'all keep forgetting that. He's only been like this because the way this is the way the league is now, where he can't go but so hard he gets, you know, be called charged and all that. But if they wasn't calling that, he'd be running through them players and pushing them back and all that too. He's strong, he's solid as a rock. Y'all keep forgetting all that. He's so stuck on that era of Jordan and all them that you can't see that. These guys nowadays are evolved. It's just a lot of talent now where you got to really be, have something extraordinary like Steph Curry where you shooting, you know, you shooting half court like it's a layup. You got to be like that. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Shaq was a freak of nature, so I mean, Shaq shouldn't have nothing to say because it's going to be, you know, it's going to take a lot for another center to be able to um, be as powerful as Shaq. He was the most powerful center we ever seen in the history of the game. And the, the center who can run the ball like that and ripping down the, the court from the top of the ceiling. So he was like super, he was superhuman as well. Curry superhuman with his shooting. You know what I'm saying? You see, LeBron is superhuman with his genetics, with his all-around play, with his speed, with, you know, his all-around genetic makeup and his height. He's a freaking, he's a thundercat. A 6'9 thundercat. So he's a freak of nature. So you got to look at that. There's a lot of freak of natures out there. A lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people just don't understand there's a lot of freak of natures out there. So don't worry about all that stuff. Man. Don't worry about all that. I hope LeBron, if you're hearing this, keep on getting them rings, bro. Keep racking up because them haters, let the haters hate. They can't take away from nothing because you're playing against grown men. They all in the same league. You see what I'm saying? They just don't want nobody to pass them. Welcome to the new age where haters, even the greats, are hating nowadays. Whoever thought the greats would be hating? What are they scared of? They scared of their legacy going to be falling under the stack? LeBron going to get this. He gonna get this championship, and he gonna get next year. It's gonna be close both times, but he gonna get it. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be him, the Lakers, and Brooklyn this year, and it's gonna be the Lakers and um, probably Lakers and Curry next year. Probably the Lakers and Curry or something next year. Lakers and Golden State next year. So. LeBron ain't got nothing to be worrying about all them naysayers and they talking about this and talking about that. If you can play, you can play. Y'all pro professional basketball players out there playing ball. No excuses. Yeah, I understand exactly what they saying about the distractions. And that's true. But ain't no excuses. LeBron is the best that ever played the game as a player. You know what I'm saying? If you're going by rings, Bill Russell would be the best. He got the most rings, right? Well, Robert Horry got like 11 or 9. Horry never in the GOAT conversation. But as a player, LeBron is maximizing everybody's um, titles. He is going past everybody's title. You know, he's, he's breaking all everybody's records. He's breaking Jordan records, Magic records. What you going? You can, numbers don't lie. And that's what everybody say, numbers don't lie. Stop hating on the man. You should enjoy him while he's here. Because he's he's a great. It'll never be another LeBron, but 
It's always somebody else gonna come out that's gonna outshine, that's gonna be more athletic, might be taller, and might be, might be able to do more, might be looking like, might be as athletic as LeBron, but can shoot like Curry. And that's gonna take, that's gonna take that person above LeBron. And then somebody gonna go above them. It's always gonna keep going up. Hey, look, I'm Alan Williams, Reading, and hit that bell, hit that like, Reading Nation, we out. Much love to you.